Thanks, guys. I'm with Nestor Cortez. Nestor, you threw a live BP the other day. How did it go? Uh, went great. We threw three innings, about 40 pitches. Um, everything felt great. Obviously, no PFPs involved, but, um, you know, body feeling great, arm feeling good. What do you take away from that session? Uh, just staying ready, staying staying up to par with all the other starters uh, to make sure I can uh, start the season with them. Any doubt in your mind that you're going to be ready that first week of the season? No, no doubt. Um, I think I've prepared well enough so far this spring and hopefully to get into live games here soon. There was that hiccup before the team even reported with your hamstring. You had to drop out of the WBC. I know you were so looking forward to pitching in that. Yeah. Uh, just how disappointed are you that you weren't able to go? Yeah, I was bummed. I was, you know, obviously it's something that only occurs every four years. Um, and I was excited to represent, you know, the country that gave me the opportunity to be here and to live out my dream. So um, I was super excited for it. But obviously with the injury, uh, it made no sense to push it and go over there. Uh, as people know, I'm, I'm pitching and doing lives now, so I might have been ready, but um, also hamstrings are a little tough, uh, you know, recuperating. So I, I didn't want to go out there and, and, you know, pitch meaningful innings and, and not be ready for the season. Is there anything additional you're doing as far as preparation to try to help ensure that the hamstring doesn't pop up again? Yeah, we're, we're activating every morning, make sure my hips are uh, in line. Uh, making sure that I'm, I'm getting ready before I actually go out there and do what I have to do. Um, in the past, I've just I've just been the guy to go out there and stretch at the team um, and then go about my day. But um, this, the, the, this spring, I'm making sure that, like I said, everything's activated before I actually go out to stretch. Uh, so there's no there's no worry there. Let's look back to last year. First time All-Star, absolutely fantastic season. What stands out to you about that season? Obviously the All-Star. I think... Um, it was a dream come true, um, something that I would have never imagined. Um, even even last year, going through like my first 10 or 12 starts, uh, still doubts that I was going to make the All-Star team. Um, but it was such a good experience, uh, something that my family and I will will hold on to forever. How do you duplicate last season, and is there added pressure because of the year you had? Uh, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say there's pressure. I would say. Um, it would just be fun to try and replicate that again. Um, I know last year, you know, I, I got injured for a couple starts, made 28 starts, uh, and this year I'm looking forward to making all 30 starts, 31 starts, whatever the case may be, um, and going north of 158. I think that's the the biggest goal for me, and hopefully we can we can do that. Pitch clock has been a big topic of conversation so far this spring, but you've always been a guy that's worked fast. When you hear the discussions, you just kind of laugh inside, saying, that's not going to affect me. Yeah, we were going through the meeting inside I, uh, the first day of spring, and I'm like, ha, this has this, is nothing, this doesn't imply to me. Uh, but no, definitely, it's, it's in the back of your mind. Um, you know, there's, I think we, we, had a, we, had a, we had a page where um, you saw your average times when you're from the stretching, when you're, when you're from the windup. Um, and I was well under. But you know, there's there's some pitches here and there that you might take a little longer, so I have to be aware of that. Um, even in lives when they've had the the time on me, um, you, you always get a little worried that you're gonna that you're taking a little longer. You mentioned probably get into some real game action, throw on a mound against a different team, not wearing pinstripes sometime soon. Do you know when that date is gonna be? I I don't have a date yet. Um, I think we're looking for another live uh, next time around. Um, so hopefully after that, I'm I'm cleared to to pitch in a game. Well, Nestor, we're looking forward to it. Thank you so much.